Ayo, my little duckies, Andy here. So Twitch have gone and done it. They announced at TwitchCon that multi-streaming is all cool. You can go to whatever platform you want. So this past weekend, I've been trying it myself. So I mainly stream on Twitch and I've gone and streamed on YouTube at the same time. And there's some crazy things that obviously you need to know about and what I've learned. So I'm going to tell you everything in this video. First up, let's talk about the actual guidelines a little bit, shall we? Like, woof, 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 this is a bit dicey, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so, this is the kind of bit that points out the most to me, is you do not use third-party services that combine activity from other platforms or services on your Twitch stream during your simulcast, such as merging chat or other features to ensure the Twitch community is included in the entirety of the experience of your live stream. What a load of bogus. What a load of stuff that, in fact, most of this guideline stuff, what are you on about, Twitch? Go home, you're drunk. So, uh, like, this is all about just, like, merging the chat on stream, just so it's, like, making it a bad experience for everyone, and, like, basically, it's just stupid. There is literally no reason for it at all. Twitch needs to get their head out of their ass and just, like, just bin this guidelines thing off. Just let us do whatever. And I'll prove this, actually, because I've been building a lot of effects, widgets, and all that crazy stuff on my stream, which you should come and visit me. I stream Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday over at Twitch and, well, now YouTube. Uh, so definitely, if you want to learn some stream stuff, there's a the place to go. But look at this. So this is some interesting findings that I had. So I'm not a, a big channel at all. I'm, I'm ge genuinely, it's a very tight community that I've got and it's awesome. So if you want to be a part of it, come across. So last weekend, I streamed Saturday, Sunday and Monday. We have an average of 19 viewers, 12 viewers, 26 viewers. And this week, when I did each of these days streaming to YouTube as well, it's improved my numbers. So Saturday, 28 viewers. 36 average viewers on Sunday, and 37, which is huge for my channel. That is absolutely huge. And like when we look at the max viewers, uh, look at this. It's crazy. It is honestly crazy. 63 max viewers on the Monday. And to be fair, I did get a few little raids. Nothing out of the ordinary that would inflate the, these figures at all. And look at follows as well. Pretty much nothing everything and that is because people were watching my stream on youtube and coming across to twitch because the chat integration was so much better so all the people that didn't know that I streamed or, or anything like that have been moving across to twitch whilst i've been is it simulcast i feel like i sound american when i do that simulcast i don't know multi-stream <laughs> so you can see it's crazy that twitch are that worried that they've got to put all these guidelines in place when it's actually been bringing people to their platform. <laughs> so stupid. This is just how it is. So now let me just show you, now with all that out of the way, obviously just be careful. Follow the guidelines. I'm not telling you to break the rules because you don't break the rules. It's not cool. But let's just talk about how I've been doing it. So you know I'm a big OBS content creator and I teach a lot of people stuff. The way that I've been doing it is using the OBS plugin, multiple RTMP outputs plugin. And this plugin is wicked. So if you just want to get in, get gone, get multi-streaming, no faff, this is the way. Look how easy it is to use. So I'm actually streaming right now and I'll show you later on why. Once you've got this plugin installed, you get this little window that you can dock anywhere inside your OBS and you can set different targets of where you want to stream them. I'm actually streaming here. Stay tuned and I'll show you why. Uh, we can press add target, give it a name, just get the RTMP server and the RTMP key. So in YouTube, when you start a stream, it literally gives you those two keys. Just press copy, paste, boom. And then you can do encoder settings. So you can set the same as you're currently outputting, say, to Twitch. You can use the same settings for YouTube or whatever platform you want. You can do any platform here. It's not just YouTube. Uh, and you can do the same with the audio settings as well. And they can also sync the start with OBS. So if that's clicked, when you press start streaming in OBS, it will start streaming on all the platforms at once. When you use the get from OBS selection here, all your encoder settings, everything like that, your output is basically going to be used the same thing for the next target. 
We can actually set these individually if we want. So for instance, YouTube allow a higher bitrate, which means you can increase the quality of your stream. So you could totally do that, but that is gonna impact performance because you're basically encoding your stream twice. So you're gonna potentially get a couple of problems. So I recommend, especially if you're just starting out, just leave it on get from OBS. You're not gonna notice too much difference with your average render time and things like that. So. I mean, I've not had any issues. I've been building crazy effects on stream. In fact, to the point where I've crashed OBS a few times live. It was pretty crazy. It's just one of those things. This is the easiest method for me. I think it's so sleek, so easy to use. And once you've set it up once, you just press OK. And you're like, cool, start streaming. And it will start streaming to all your platforms at once. You can add as many different pl um, platforms as you want. It's really good. Just try it out. See what you think. So when it comes to viewing your chat, I've actually been using Streamabot. So you guys, if you've used Streamabot before, it's an incredible tool that's completely free and it will take your stream out of this world. It's mad, the crazy things that you can do with it. I do tons of tutorials, so get subscribed uh, and learn some stuff on the channel. But in the latest update, when they moved to 0.2, there is a chat window. So as long as you're logged in, in the platform section under Twitch and you're logged into your account here, and on YouTube, in, in account, you're logged in there, you can press this chat window, and it'll pull up a full chat window, as you can see just here. And it's got Twitch and YouTube. So you've got everything in one single chat. So I, can, I just leave this at the side of my screen, like so, and I can read both chats in one go. Well, obviously, that's not then displayed on stream. This is just a personal thing, because obviously Twitch says you can't combine the chats on stream because it's stupid. I'm just like, surely it brings more problems if you're just talking to somebody and nobody else knows who you're talking to. That's just weirder, right? Merge the chats. What's wrong with your Twitch? And that's the method that I use just there. So there are a couple of other methods which um, are really good. The other one that I do recommend is Restream. So Restream is an awesome tool. As you can see, like, this is Restream.io. I'm all logged in. I'm actually streaming to Twitch here. You can do two active outputs at once, unless you pay monthly. So a lot of people think as well that, you see this little watermark? That, they say that, oh, you need to pay monthly to get rid of the watermark. You don't, you don't. That's kind of weird marketing. We are not using this encoder or anything like that we are using obs because we're going through obs we're putting the stream data in the rtmp key all that jazz as we normally would so we are not using their official studio and we're outputting to twitch so as you can see if i go to twitch andy body there's no watermark there's somebody trying to sell me some followers but there's there's no watermark if i go to twitch now and just show you this is live i'm going to put this on just to show you there is no watermark bro there is no watermark. Can you see any watermark? So this is completely free to use, okay? Completely free to use. Um, only limited to two active outputs though. So you're not limited to any like 720, anything like that. You are getting the same stream straight from OBS, but going to two different locations. So there are options out there for what you wanna do. And the cool thing about Restream is that you can update the, the stream titles across the platforms. You can also view all the chat on both platforms as well and interact with both platforms chat. Whew, I know this is a lot. There's a lot here. But if we go to Restream.io slash chat, they have their own little chat as well. So you can put all of your platforms in there at once. So if you didn't want to do the way that I am with Streamabot, you know, by going to chat, you can actually use Restream's version just here. Get that downloaded and use that as well. So there are a lot of options out there to do restreaming, but I think we can all agree that you want to keep it simple, especially if you're going to multiple platforms. There's a lot already happening. So having it all in one place is great. That's why I love using the RTMP uh, plugin for, for OBS. I think it's the most powerful, so easy to use. And obviously, as long as you're not re-encoding a load of times to different outputs, it shouldn't have too much of an impact on your PC. But then again, if you are doing like all these different resolutions and things like that, because you want to maximize your viewing experience on YouTube where you can up the bitrate, then that will impact your performance. So obviously just keep tinkering with it until you find what works for you. I found just outputting both at the same time at the same 1080p resolution 
perfectly fine and it works well. So I'd love to hear what you your thoughts on the whole Twitch allowing multicasting or multi-streaming, all that jazz, whatever you want to call it. Please let me know in the comments what you're doing about it and how you're kind of bringing your communities together. And let me know what you kind of, if you see any results like me, how it's increased my Twitch viewership. I'd be very interested to see what kind of happens with that, right? So make sure you are subscribed, all that jazz, and put your rock over the stone. Much love.